people of yes. Church multiplication, critical path. We shall examine a typical church multiplication process that consists of ten parts. 1. The will of God. 2. Sponsors. 3. Ministry leaders. 4. Consultants. 5. Mentors. 6. Church planters. 7. The five gifted workers. 8. Church development. 9. Church Reproduction and 10. Continual Expansion These 10 parts can happen in order or at the same time. Let us take a brief look at each of these parts. Part 1. The Will of God The Father's love for the world the Son's death in behalf of the lost and gifts from the Holy Spirits, these convince believers that it is God's will, that their churches should reproduce and multiply, in every ethnic community, everywhere. Part 2. Sponsors. These are visionary folk who understand strategic planning. They form relationships with honest ministerial leaders and spend time with them. They advocate for reaching neglected communities, and they help procure means by which to do so. Most sponsors quietly work with leaders, and they avoid doing public ministry. Part 3. Ministry Leaders These honest folk have earned the trust of those who follow them, having led many of them to faith in Jesus. They show wisdom and tact in encouraging others, in empowering workers, and in convincing believers to serve the Lord. These leaders make the decisions that can start and can stop church multiplication. Part 4. Consultants. Sponsors recommend consultants, and ministry leaders invite consultants to come train workers, to provide sound advice to recommend research, and to solve problems. Consultants show unusual insight in reproducing believers, disciples, churches, leaders and trainers. Most consultants make occasional visits to church planting ministries. Part 5. Mentors. Mentors do as the Apostle Paul did with Timothy and others. Mentors invest time and skill in training trainers, in coaching church planters, and in helping church leaders plan their ministry. Mentors listen before they teach. They help others plan their work. Mentors lead others to scripture and to useful materials. They develop skills in others and they seek to make them successful. Mentors empower their apprentices to mentor others in turn. Part 6. Church Planters Most church planters are volunteers who support themselves. They may lead a few others to faith in Jesus, teach them to obey Jesus' commandments, bring these together for worship, and mentor new shepherds to lead new flocks. Meanwhile, church planters help others to plant more churches in the same way. Part 7. The Five Gifted Workers God supplies to every church five kinds of gifted volunteers who help the church to grow and to reproduce. Apostles are those who want to start new churches. Prophets are those who love to encourage others. Evangelists keep telling the good news to unbelievers. Shepherds lead others by their example. Teachers are those who help others obey Jesus' commandments. Part 8. Church Development Churches quickly develop when new believers become obedient disciples, and gifted leaders strengthen their faith by the Word of God. Church planters appoint trust with the elders in new churches, pray for them, entrust them to the Lord, and leave to go start more new churches. Part 9. Church Reproduction Churches reproduce when their leaders coach their members to start new little churches with their family and friends. 
Also when they send church planting teams to nearby communities, or to distant lands. Leaders empower their church members to obey all of Jesus' commandments, and to help others to do likewise. Part 10. Continual Expansion. Sponsors, ministry leaders, and consultants, work together to send church planting teams to neglected regions and ethnic groups. There, these team agree together, pray together, and work together until a church planting movement is underway. This process must continue until Jesus returns.